music and food. I feel like there's a huge connector with those those two things, don't you guys? Yeah, absolutely. One standout dish has been the brown sugar dessert. So the brown sugar dessert uses entirely only brown sugar. Um, and it really, it, it only uses natural brown sugar because it's natural, it's unrefined. Um, and then we do it seasonally, right? So whatever fruits are in that season, we'll, we'll do like, for example, this season we're doing a Tahitian treat sorbet, right? Cause my mom loves Tahitian treat, it's her favorite soda. So we do a Tahitian treat sorbet uh, with strawberries and things like that. And then while the guest is enjoying and understanding the story and the concept behind this dish, the music brown sugar is playing as well. Mm -hmm. You know, and it ends connecting it. Which with brown the, sugar? D'Angelo brown, okay. <laughs> brown sugar. Yes, 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 yes. You know, and, and, you know, the idea came from when I was in the Netherlands, you know, and the chef, you know, he's from the Netherlands. He spent some time in New York. And he's like, do you know that song, um, Brown Sugar by D'Angelo? I was like, what you know about brown sugar? Like, <laughs> and he's like, give me some of that brown sugar. Uh -oh. And he started singing it. And I'm like... This guy is from the Netherlands, all the way from across the other world, and that music connected us, you know? So I wanted to bring that same type of experience, that same thing to Noble Promise, and that's how we created the dessert. 